In this video, we will set up Cloudflare workers with TypeScript and ESBuild. So let's start by going over to the VS Code. And let's initialize a new project. I will also create a git ignore and add node modules to it. And now I will install the Wrangler CLI. Let's also add a dev command. This would be Wrangler dev. Now I will add an index.js. And here we will add a worker of type fetch. So I add event listener, fetch, event. Here we can respond with handle request. Let's create a handle request function. And here we will just return a response of hello Cloudflare. Now let's initialize a Wrangler project. This should create a Wrangler.toml file. And it should look like this. I will update the name. And the type should be JavaScript. We will also need an account ID. And we can get it from here. Finally, let's start our development server. And let's check it out. Create a new request. And send. Here we see we got a response. So let's close everything and stop the server. And now I will add a publish command. npx wrangler publish. Now to execute it, npm run publish. Seems like it worked. So I'll copy this and send a request. And we can see it still works. Now going back to the dashboard, let's refresh. And we can see our worker was created. So let's check it out. Here we have resources. triggers for scheduled events and we can stream the logs as well so if i send a request a log should be visible here and we also have deployments and now let's set up typescript for that, I will add TypeScript and ESBuild as dev dependencies. Let's also initialize a TS config, so npx tsc init. So this is our pretty standard TS config. Now I will change the index.js to .ts. But if we try to add the types, it won't work as Cloudflare types are separate from our usual types. To fix this, first we will add the Cloudflare worker types package and then reference it in our TS config.
Now this should be able to override the built-in type definitions and then we can use the correct ones. For example, the fetch event type. I will also update the body so we can see it's working. And now let's go to package.json and add a build command. So this would be build. And we can use esbuild here to transpile and bundle our code into build directory. And now let's do a build. So that would be npm run build. And as you can see, esbuild is quite fast. Next, let's check out the build folder. So this is our transpiled code that would be uploaded as the worker. Now let's also reference it in our package.json. So that would be build worker.js. We also need to add the build folder to our git ignore so we don't commit it. Finally, we will update our wrangler.toml file to build our code automatically when we are publishing. So this would be npm run build. And build upload would be a format service worker. And now let's publish our TypeScript code. As we can see, our worker was first built and then published. And now let's quickly verify it by sending a request. Perfect, it's working. Lastly, I will commit everything to this repo. So this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.